What's up guys, it's John. Today we've got a few things that we're testing out. We've got some special stuff. We've got an old clear gel block down there that we're gonna test out. I've got some 350 grain controlled fracturing bullets in my 50 Beowulf that I put together, Project Broadsword, and we're gonna put it into that block. We also have a very special camera that we're trying out. So it's a lot of things that we're testing and I wanted to bring you guys along with it. So without further BS, Let's put this bad boy in the block. What do you say? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so as you can see, <laughs> that did some, uh, some damage there. I can actually see the projectile. Let's take a look at the block first. So this is designed to come apart. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. It's kind of a downhill environment. Um, so the, the block came apart. You can see about an, an inch in there. And, and then all the way to about 15 inches, we've got a permanent stretch cavity. It's, it's really huge from about one to, let's call it uh, 12 inches. So about 11 inches of damage there. We've got pedals going in all kinds of different directions. We've got <laughs> water leaking through because the base separated and went into a couple jugs. Let's go ahead and empty the, well, here it is. Let's go ahead and empty that. You can see it rattling around in the bottom there. Okay, there's the top. Ah, oh, I'm getting wet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Make sure it comes out in my hand. There it is, look at that. So that went 16, Plus, what are these? We'll call these six inches wide, so approximately another 18 inches past the block. I mean, that is brutal, guys. Let's check out the high speed. You know what? First, let's take a look at the ammo. From right to left, we've got a 62 grain AP 556. Then we've got a 50 AE with a 300 grain bullet for the Desert Eagle, followed by the 350 grain controlled fracturing bullet from Lehigh Defense that I loaded into some 50 Beowulf cartridges. And finally, the base of the projectile, which weighs in at 243.9 grains and penetrated an extra 30 inches past the block. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Watching this thing hit the block, we filmed this at 5,000 frames per second. So, uh... I don't know if you guys can tell, but that was that was pretty amazing. The high speed was even more beautiful. We we actually have one of the pedals in the block still. I can, you can kind of see it right about there. And it actually deformed the table. You can see that it pushed down so hard on the table. We think there is a pedal inside the table in there, but it pushed down so hard that the rivets are almost starting to come through. That was serious. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Please go ahead and share, like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you soon.